uh, Pinot Black, and we have this found in 2000, October of 2010, okay? And we want to thank these guys because this is where we get our beautiful footage from Hawaii, ladies and gentlemen. So we are educating and learning. So everything is all hunky dory because we always put our disclaimer on. And so you can read this. You can always freeze. You know, make sure you watch videos in full screen. And uh, I don't know if they own that magazine or whatever, but they've got it. It looks like even they have a blog site. No. So you got a file you can go ahead and click and get. They got a lot of info there on that, and then you can also go ahead and uh, this is a close view that they have right there. Let me blow that up for you. So this is shot from outer space, you know, shot from the telescope, and also help with the NASA propagation too. So the idea that it's probably a combined effort, uh, but the number one thing is they help find it. Okay, as well, you can read the information that I already had there. You can always freeze it. So there's a blow up of it and IE we just seen what we seen by the Sun in my last couple videos of the light propagation up there okay so there's all kinds of stuff going on in space folks because we seen short bursts like that and we've seen long bursts and there you go so they've always thought just known in Jupiter and so forth and up by Neptune and Mars okay but we're getting it around here because we are melding with the supergiants and with uh, asteroid belt and let's take you to that real fast because they've got the number of they put on it here's your tax paying dollars folks so it's 2010 TK7 and uh, I will put up get up to today it looks like I think what I had as I went down to but you can play with it and get to the lowest the closest it was was the asteroid belt was as closest to us on those dates there Okay. Pearl Harbor Day and back. Okay. So we're going forward to now. It's the 22nd today. And like I said, the, they early, maybe they just posted, maybe they're doing a little bit of kicking back down there at Casey Station. So the idea that they already propagated those pictures up at the, on the 23rd date, but we did catch it where the idea we're still sitting here. So, but it wasn't the 23rd there yet either. So. Have a bunch of holly, jolly, good time down there and keep your lips wet all over the world, ladies and gentlemen. So there's the information on the closeness of it that they've propagated up through the years. And going back, you can see that it was closest back in 59 and in, or 56, was about the closest it's ever been to us. So back in 56 and 1994 was also what I could see was the closest time it's ever been to us before. So in 94, we didn't get much told about to us about it. So you got to pay attention to politics, what was going on in 94, and we weren't looking up at the sky, I guess, and seeing that asteroid belt. Okay? Because it's all here, and they've even got condition 2. And if you go to Cal... I, anyway, Cal Muvens is, or whatever, I, I don't know how to say Cal's name, but the idea, go to... Dutch sense and uh, matter of fact, I'll take you to Cal's site real fast. So go to Cal's site. He's pretty good at playing uh, music and just letting it go and showing you the NASA photos and so forth and so on. Uh, he'll tell you the truth about everything. Uh, there won't be no BS. He'll show you badges off of uh, astronauts and so forth, uh, tags and everything like that. So. Uh, he he just does a good job. He's throwing music together and giving you something to basically look at, and basically the truth and facts that that I'm pretty much showing you all the time. Okay, now we've seen th this stuff today. Let me go show you this. This is off his video, but the idea this stuff's been seen before up in space. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I've been able to pick up off of so. So I've got this uh, pegged in here at basically 150 uh, percent, and you see that, and it looks like basically an oscilloscope action. And somewhat it is if you see if you put it in play and see it, but you'll also see when we can freeze it, it's basically a signal through space, ladies and gentlemen. You see that? That's just like if you had an oscilloscope and if you were reading, you'd be seeing that. Okay. Now we'll end up freezing that. I'll get the buttons down here, and the next time we see it, we'll just freeze it. Okay. Now there, I'll go back on that. So we'll step back. Should be able to. Okay, I was going the wrong way. 
we'll be able to go back and get that blown up of it freezing and then the idea that you'll end up seeing also that I showed in the, the previous uh, video that they blocked out down here by the clock there there was the block out that they did there you go okay and basically it's this action in the super giants because this is flipped around from what we normally get on the navy and I will f refresh and show you navy on okay I'm gonna refresh show you navy so don't let them throw you off folks there's a lot of action right there okay and a lot of action up here in the super giants and basically the super giants are so humongous yes and pretty much 360 of the sun so that's the idea, idea that over there now currently at this time if you pay attention to that when you watch your videos look for action at this time over on this side where the normally they turn it around on ie they turn it around okay when you're looking at the civilian shots okay so let's get back in here and hit play and th that was a fresh shot of Lasco 3 and hit play on here again and you'll see all this action and the idea that if you watch it now there you go so we'll just let it come through and we'll hit, let that hit again and I'll hit step on it and there you will go and we'll hit that I believe that'll get us back to it step nope I'm used to play but I'm not gonna make when you talk is when you make mistakes so here you go and you should be able to get that light propagation coming in here again and basically it's a frequency through space ladies and gentlemen deeper and probably darker than what we've ever seen before I'm gonna step that back because here is these objects when you flip this around we have been watching this this could be more than likely Lovejoy or Mercury back up there because you flip it around because it should be with the arm over on the left hand side. I've stressed that enough that the idea that it should be like this. The arm is over here and it's hidden on this shot. And if you've seen any other videos you should know that that okay. So the idea that this is what we saw and this is pretty much fresh. There might be a new video for this. So then we'll go ahead and we're gonna step back again. Because we're gonna get that light propagation coming in. No, i.e. the block. And it just seems like I have a hard time trying to find it. Let me find it, save some tape. So this was up there today, folks, at 12.22. And basically, if you go to Casey Station and you watch the videos, at the beginning of that video, they showed where they had light propagation that was basically going through the clouds at Casey Station in Antarctica. Okay, So this is a light signal, basically a radio frequency possibly, going through space, ladies and gentlemen. NASA knows. They listen to it. Okay, And the idea that, the, like I said, the one that I blew up, and you could see that so uh, I'm gonna try to play around with this picture and open it up and see what else is being hidden in here when this light propagation radio signal comes through because you can't miss it when you hit play on this one you will see it look so because I'll just basically go back I believe I can go back in time then we go back in time and we'll just hit play and I think it'll just hit it right up right away and it'll just gonna look like a radio frequency on the oscilloscope when it comes through they block stuff out and you see the stuff I showed you on there and there you go it looks like a radio frequency when it comes through real fast and this is a zoomed up shot from behind but like we show you the angles on the idea of the behind is basically gonna stay where it's at because they have to propagate so watch for this time on videos also go to Soho and Sechi and watch basically Sechi's the best because this is not this is the outside of the photo this isn't okay this could be a galaxy or another comet that came by or flashed by at that time, folks, because that's an object right there. That there. If I keep on zooming in, it's probably going to look like a solar system or something like that out there. So up in the corner, and this is not a mistake, that's there. Okay, very interesting, that there object. And it's humongous, folks. And also that, because the idea of the size of the sun, basically pop it down to 400% here real fast. That's what I was showing you. Okay, it's up there in the corner. And then... There you go, the back side of the sun, so you can realize how humongous that stuff is, or whatever that is that gets caught in there. And like I say, don't forget about this up here where the X is at and stuff like that. What I'm talking about is right still in there. And that could be what they also were blocking out, because remember, they flipped the blue shot, so the idea that might be what we were also being hidden and looking at, okay? Okay, and very important too, folks, and this is the same time, and I can slide up to it real fast. Did you see how big that object is? That's way bigger than Earth. And basically, that should be either Mercury or, and also this, okay? Those should be two of our planets, Mercury or Saturn or something like that, okay? So pay attention to what that time is and go ahead and research 
uh, where they were. And I'm going to zoom in on this because this, we know, is too damn close to be anything. Any idea? We know that it's a planet. It's a group of planets right there. So a group of planets there, folks. And if there's any civilization, if there is any, was any civilization there, even if they had some kind of, I mean, well, whatever. I mean, it's just theoretically speaking, the idea that if something of our origin was up there and we never knew it, and anything that's in these supergiants, and this is supergiants material here, folks. These are all humongous planets and stuff that are up by this behind the sun, okay? There is no way that even if there's some way that they were able to adapt to high heat and have be insulated like we modernly can on insulation of heat, there's no way they'd survive that heat being that close. So there's always the possibility of the idea that if there is intelligent life form of what's originally been here, us, our unperfect human asses, the idea that that's the sun, folks, and there is a shitload of stuff up there in the supergiants, and the sun is in the supergiants, and it's getting its ass kicked. And let's go to the, some of that video. I can go pull up one of the grays on that before we run out of time. So that's material, folks, planets and shit behind the sun and around the sun. So the sun has got even more of this behind it there. Okay? So basically i can just go in here and back up right now on the most important you know the most uh intriguing part of of uh nehemiah right now we'll bring it back across because you'll be able to see it as it comes back across there it is because you can see the nodes in this deal so let me just back it up real fast and you'll be able to catch that action i got to click back to get it to give you the action but here we'll go we'll bring it down drag it down and i should be able to just keep on going back so some dramatic action there So it's bleeding more and more that you can tell that it's basically what it is, folks. An object in front of Rigel Cantaris Proximi Centauri or Rigel Cantaris B. And you can see that it's a far away away and it still kind of gets blocked by the tower a little bit, okay? You know it's not the sun. You know by the, it's not the sun by the times that it's up. And there it goes because the sun's just starting to come up now. And as you see, it does make a lot of back and front and forward movement. So... And that's an interesting part of possibly the wiggle of the axis of Earth right now. So it's very important people to realize that NASA lied to us and they did it a very, very massive lying to us. They are saying that there's no asteroid belts close to Earth when we have an all-time high closeness of asteroid belt near to Earth, okay, besides 94. And on our freshest uh, shot of Lasco, you have to realize that any of these could be Mars and Mercury and Saturn, okay, but the idea, count how many there are, folks. They're humongous, because there's the sun, okay? So there's a sheep load of huge bright stars in this crazy action down here that they keep blocking from us, okay? So keep on watching the sun, folks. And watch all of space, folks, because this was on the 17th in Hawaii, and no matter what, there is a humongous amount of stuff. I.e., my last video, these light rays that are coming across the sky in Hawaii. Watch the last video for that. I'm just basically f fast forwarding it and you can't see the clock right now, but it's December 18th and it's at the 0100 time. Bring you down to the clock and then I'll take you back up with the rise. There is the clock and here we go with the rise of that. So Rigel Cantaris B and Centauri are all there folks. So much more in the new videos. Very dramatic space object, folks. Probably a planet or a minor comet burnt up to nothing but an ice chunk. And we showed that earlier today. So check out the video before. I.e., this is the shadow that the Terra Hydrans did down at South Pole, folks. They created this shadow as it came across, folks. And you know what it is. It's that right there. And this is Lovejoy, folks. Basically frozen to let you see how it goes in to the sun. Comes out backside round loops and then see it how fast it took off away from Soho so more than likely we're still seeing we are still seeing more than likely mercury on fire up there as you can see how fast that this moved away this will be basically reverse so watch every minute of every video